So this is the new Google Daydream. It's their new virtual reality headset. And the way it works is you uh, open this up and pop a uh, Daydream compatible phone in here. This fabric on the, on the cover here is really soft. It looked a little bit like denim, but if you're actually feeling it, it's, it's really sort of silky and smooth. And the whole thing's kind of kind of squishy and very comfortable. And I guess they designed it to have comfort in mind. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this thing on now and, and we'll see how it looks. So I'm, I'm inside looking at it and it comes with a remote control and this is how you get around inside of it. The other VR experiences, I've, I've played around with the Facebook Oculus a little bit and some of the other uh, VR headsets. This is um, a little bit different. It looks like you know uh, you're, you have all this YouTube content that's kind of designed for VR. So there's all kinds of unusual choices here that you can go between. Um, I'm going to check out a, uh, a dinosaur video and see how it compares with some of the really immersive like game type demos I've seen on other platforms. So basically here I'm inside of a natural history museum looking at an interactive demonstration of uh, dinosaurs and their skeletons on wall. It's pretty cool. So that's the, uh, that's the Google Daydream and it's not really going to be competitive with something like the Oculus Rift or the PS4. But it's not really meant to be. It's not sort of a, a hardcore gamer's machine. It's a good way to get a taste of virtual reality. It's only 79 bucks. I don't know if I would say this thing looks actually cool, but it looks cooler than most of the other ones I've seen, and it is very comfortable to wear. So it's a good starter if you're interested in exploring virtual reality.